back to that breaking news. The Justice Department releasing their report on that mass shooting in Uvalde, Texas, two years ago. Let's go ahead and listen into Merrick Garland. In undertaking this review at the request of the then mayor, the Justice Department committed to using our expertise and independence to assess the law enforcement response to the shooting and provide guidance moving forward. As I told families and survivors last night, the department's review concluded that a series of major failures, failures of leadership, in tactics, in communications, in training, and in preparedness, were made by law enforcement leaders and others responding to the mass shooting at Rob Elementary. As a result, 33 students and three of their teachers, many of whom have been shot, were trapped in a room with an active shooter for over an hour as law enforcement officials remained outside. I also told the families and survivors how deeply sorry I am for the losses they suffered that day and for the losses they have suffered every day since. I told them that the priority for the Justice Department in preparing this report has been to honor the memories of those who were taken from them. And I told the families gathered last night what I hope is clear among the hundreds of pages and thousands of details in this report. Their loved ones deserve better. The law enforcement response at Rob Elementary School on May 24, 2022, and in the hours and days after, was a failure that should not have happened. We hope to honor the victims and the survivors by working together to try to prevent anything like this from ever happening again, here or anywhere. I'm now going to turn to the key observations and recommendations of the report. On May 24, 2022 at 11.33 a.m., an active shooter wearing body armor and equipped with a high-power AR-15 rifle entered Rob Elementary School and began shooting into classrooms 111 and 112, which shared a connecting door. Within minutes, 11 law enforcement officers from the Uvalde Consolidated Independent School District and the Uvalde Police Department arrived inside the school. Hearing continued gunfire, five officers immediately advanced toward classrooms 111 and 112. Within seconds, shots were fired from inside the classroom. Shrapnel hit two officers, and all responders retreated to cover. A single officer then made additional attempts to approach the classrooms, but after 11.40 a.m., no more attempts to enter the rooms were made until 12.48 p.m., more than an hour later. As a consequence of failed leadership, training, and policies, injured and scared students and teachers remain trapped with the subject in the classrooms waiting to be rescued. Survivors later shared that they heard officers gathered outside the classrooms while they waited. The victims trapped in classroom 111 at 112. All right, that is Attorney General Merrick Garland addressing what they are calling failures of the Uvalde Police Department back in May of 2022 when that active shooter entered two different classrooms at Robb Elementary. Uh, Merrick Garland saying that while police did respond within uh, several minutes and they were inside the school, shots continued to be fired into those classrooms and officers retreated. One officer made another attempt to uh, approach that school door, but uh, after that, no other attempts were made, again, calling for a uh, lack of leadership in that situation. This is going on still right now, and we will have those full recaps for you on later editions of Queen City News and on our website, qcnews.com.